Hey guys, welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create this nice and simple parallax kind of a slideshow animation inside of After Effects. So this is Vikash for a Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so before we get started, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon and also hit the like button if you like this intro and let's take a new composition and get started. So just go to this composition and take a new composition and this is going to be our main composition. So let's call it main. And I'm going to set the size of this composition 1920 by 1080 and let's go with any frame rate. So in this case, I am going with 30 frame per second and set the duration of this composition 5 second long, which is good enough for one slide and hit OK. And now we have to take one more composition that is going to be our media composition where we can drag our image or video file that we want to use in this project. So just go to this composition and take a new composition and call it media. Set it 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30, duration make it 5 second, hit OK. Just go to this project window, right click on that, click on import file and select your image file. So in this case, I'm using this image that I have downloaded from pixapay.com and I have given a link in the description. So just go to the link and download this image if you want and click on import. And just drag this image into this media composition and just go to main composition and import that media comp into this main composition right click on that click on rename and call it media 01 hit enter and i'm going to create multiple copy of this so hit ctrl d seven times and create seven copy of this all right and leave this media one as it is and select the second one and just select this rectangle tool and create a rectangular mask just like that Click on this solo button and as you can see it's looking like this so just check this option inward and make it like this and now just select this media 3 and let's create another one check this inward and unsolo this media 2 composition and solo this media 3 composition select this media 4 Let's create mask for this media for according to this black section. All right, and do the same thing for all. So just check this option inward, unsolo this, solo this media four, select this fifth one, and let's create rectangular mask for this media five. And do the same thing for this media six. So check this option inward, unsolo this solo this media 5 select this media 6 and let's create another rectangular mask according to this black section and now the last one media 7 so check this option inward unsolo this media 5 solo this media 6 select this media 7 and let's create one more rectangular mask just like that and check this option inward just turn on the 3d button for each layers and unsolo this layer all right and now let's take a new camera so just go to layer go to new and take a new camera and call it camera and set this preset 15 mm Hit OK and now we have to take a null object that is going to be our camera control so go to layer new and take a new null object right click on that call it uh, camera control hit OK and select this camera and pick this pick whip and attach this camera with this camera control and now select this camera hit P on the keyboard to open this position property and right now we have only two parameter x and y so we have to turn on this 3d button hit p again and now we have 
three parameter x y and g so i'm going to animate this uh, camera in g space so we have to animate this value so just go to the end of this animation and click on this stopwatch button to create a keyframe on position property at the end of this animation and go back to very first frame of this animation and i'm going to set this uh, g value something around 8000 and close this layer and now we have something like this so right now we don't have any depth on this image so select all these media layers hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and now i want to create a gap between each layer in g space so we have to set different z value for each layer so let's start with this media one first so select this media one and i'm gonna set this z value something around twenty-eight thousand, and i want to create a gap of four thousand between each layers so we have to set this value for media zero to something around twenty four thousand, and do the same thing for all so set this value twenty thousand for media three sixteen thousand for media four and 12,000 for media 5 and 8,000 for media 6 and finally 4,000 for media 7 now select all these media layers hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and i want to scale this up and feed this layer according to our composition size so let's start with this media one so select this and scale it up just like that and fit this all right make sure your cti at the end of this animation and do the same thing for all all right so it's done and now select all the layer hit u on the keyboard to close this up and hit m two time on the keyboard to open this mask property and i'm going to set the mask feather value 100 for each layers so select this mask feather value 100 and do the same thing for all all right and hit m again to close this up and as you can see it's looking like a parallax kind of uh, effect all right and now let's create a text so select this text tool and go to this character and select your favorite font style so in this case i'm using this go bold font style that i have given a link in the description so just check it out and uh, i'm going to set the size of this font 60 pixel and set this uh, character spacing 50 and i'm going to set this uh, line spacing 110 pixel and let's type by clicking over here so click over here and type anything that you want all right and now i'm going to do some character label styling so just select the slide show and uh, let's scale it up so i'm going to set this value something around 100 and now it's looking like this and select this layer go to align and click on this align horizontally click on this align vertically basically we have to set this text in the center of this frame and now let's create some animation for the text so open this text layer click on this animate button let's add tracking parameter first and just go to the end of this animation turn on this uh, stopwatch button and set this tracking value something around 10 all right and just go to on one second and uh, set this value something around 50 so as you can see we have something like this all right and now just select this layer and i'm gonna add this opacity set this opacity zero percent and uh, just go to on one second and open this range selector and here turn on this stopwatch button for start parameter and set this value zero percent and go to on three second and i'm going to set this start value 100 percent 
all right and now we have something like this which is looking pretty awesome and uh, now close this text layer and let's create one more thing so just select this uh, ellipse tool by holding this button and uh, click on this blank area place this cti at the center of this frame hold left mouse button hold ctrl shift alt on the keyboard and just create this uh, circular shape just like that just click on this field and set it to none and click on this stroke and set it to solid color and pick this uh, white color and i'm gonna set this uh, stroke thickness something around 0 0.5 pixel maybe half pixel and just right click on that click on rename and call it circle hit enter close this layer and now let's make it 3d so turn on the 3d button and uh, hit r on the keyboard to open this uh, rotation property and let's rotate this x so i'm going to set this x rotation negative 75 all right select this one hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and i'm going to set this z position value something around 1500 all right and now hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property let's scale it up and fit this so i'm going to set this scale value to 50 percent and select this circle hold shift and press left arrow key and just set it like this all right and now we have something like this which is looking much more interesting now let's do the same thing for this uh, text so turn on the 3d button for the text hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and i'm going to set this uh, z position value 8000 go to the end of this animation hit s on the keyboard to open this uh, scale property let's uh, scale it up a bit now it's looking just like that all right and finally we have to add some more assets on it so just select this uh, polystar tool by holding this button click on this blank area and uh, let's create a shape just like that and set this uh, uh, stroke thickness something around two pixel then right click on that click on rename and call it triangle Open this polystar one, open this polystar path one and set this point three and make it triangle. All right. And after that, select this triangle, select this pan behind tool. And I'm going to set this anchor point in the center of this triangle. Select this move tool and just place it over here. Now I want to make multiple copy of this. So hit control D on the keyboard to duplicate. And just placed it anywhere in the frame all right and now turn on the 3d button first select all the triangle layers hit p on the keyboard to open this position property and let's create a depth between each uh, layer in gs space so set this value 1000 for the first one 1500 for the second one and 2000 for the third one and uh, 2500 for fourth one and the fifth one set this value 3000 so it's looking just like that now just select this first triangle just drag it on left side all right and finally select all the triangles hit s on the keyboard and just scale it up a bit maybe 150 percent and close these layers and now it's looking much more interesting as you can see so just go to very beginning of this animation and uh, 
let's play this. Alright, so as you can see, we have a linear animation right now. So I want to make this animation smoother. So just select this camera control, hit U on the keyboard to open these active keyframes and select these keyframe by holding shift. Hit F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them and go to your graph editor. If your graph editor not looking like this, then right click on that and check this option edit a speed graph. And just drag this handle and create a nice smooth graph just like that and close this graph editor and close this layer all right and finally we have to add one more asset so just select this text tool and uh, type a number over here by clicking on this uh, space and type anything let's animate this number so just select this and let's down the size a bit first set this value something around 60 pixel and now i want to animate this number so select this open this number and click on this animate and uh, click on this uh, character offset and i'm gonna animate this character offset so hold alt on the keyboard and click on this stopwatch button to open this expression box and I'm going to type time expression for this animation. So type time multiply by value 10. Hit enter. All right. And as you can see, we have something like this. And now close this, select this number, hit control D to duplicate and make it multiple copy of this. All right. And just select the second one, select this move tool and just drag it anywhere in this frame and select this third one and just drag it over here all right and now let's change this text so select this text tool click over here and change the number select this third one click over here and change the number if you want all right, and now just turn on the 3D button, select all the numbers, hit P on the keyboard, just go to the end of this animation and let's give a random Z space value. So let's type 1500, 2500 and 3000. And select this move tool and uh, just drag it over here maybe select this one drag it over and select this last one and just drag it down select all the numbers hit s on the keyboard to open this scale property and let's scale it up a bit so i'm going to set this value something around 200 percent Maybe just down this scale value to 150%. All right. And now close these layers. So just go to very beginning of this animation, go to full screen and let's have a look. All right, so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial guys i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and also hit the like button if you liked it and uh, i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye